Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on, well actually, yeah, another video. Oh no, I was going to say The Flash. I don't know why I was going to say The Flash. Another video on Batwoman. So uh, the CW upfronts, uh, I think they actually start in like two hours from now, but they've started releasing information on scheduling and some stuff on Batwoman. I don't know. I was expecting it to start in two hours, but it started early. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know. But they released some stuff in regards to Batwoman and it's some stuff that is pretty interesting and exciting to look at, but also read. So they did release two new promo images from the pilot. Now we might get a trailer. By the time this video goes up, there might be a trailer. I don't know. This video might not even go live. I might be talking to myself and this might be deleted and not be uploaded. I don't know. But they released uh, some two new promo images for Batwoman and a synopsis, which basically uh, you know gives them some details as to who I guess the main threat will be, but also there might be multiple villains in the season if we're going off the comics and what they're setting up. But anyway, let's just jump straight into these promo images because the first one is a banger. It's probably the best uh, Batwoman promo image you could get because it gives you Kate Kane, but it also gives you something that a lot of people want to see, especially in the Arrowverse. And that's our first look at the bat suit for Batwoman. Man, I was gonna the bat suit for Batman from Batwoman in the Arrowverse, if that makes sense. So in the Elseworlds crossover, they obviously talked about Batman being a myth and everything like that. But we actually get to see this bat suit, and I think it looks pretty damn good. Will we ever see someone wear it? I hope we do. Like I hope it's like a suit that is wearable and it isn't just like a mannequin sort of you know display suit. I'm not expecting to see you know Batman show up and team up with Batwoman. That's not what I'm expecting. You should be able to see my hands on the side here. That's sort of weird. Um, yeah, I, th I think that's, you know, wishful thinking to the next level. But it would be cool if, like, there was, like, a flashback scene or maybe, like, um, uh, like news footage, maybe, of Batman saving someone or something like that in the pilot. That'd be pretty cool to see. But, obviously, the main thing to look at outside of the bat suit are we have these gadgets uh, right there, which is really cool. You can see little things that would clip onto Batman's belt, some batarangs, um you know, little, uh, gauntlet, you know, what a grapple hook, grapple guns and stuff like that. Another little, I think, I think it's a shotgun up on the right there, or it might be like a sticky sort of gun. I don't know. It's a gun of some sort above that guy's head there. And that is actually Luke Fox. So he is uh, Batwing in the comics. Will he become Batwing in the show? Maybe that's probably for like season X or whatever of, um, Batwoman, if they get to that point, but he is Lucius Fox's son. Uh, obviously I'm sure most of you guys know who Lucius Fox is. Batman's, you know, gadget dude and, you know, helps with all the R&D stuff, if you want to call it. So, yeah, he's going to be playing a massive role in the show. And there's other characters as well, which we will go over in the synopsis uh, for the season in a second. Obviously, we have Ruby Rose as Kate Kane there. There's a hairstyle change there. I think this hairstyle is a better one. Uh, the one from Elseworlds was basically just Ruby Rose. Like, that was just the hairstyle she had. I guess it wasn't worth her changing her hairstyle just for that small cameo. Because, really, she was Kate Kane for, like like five minutes in the episode and then the rest of it she was batwoman so it wasn't really worth her going above and beyond to change her hair so I, i'm fine with what they did in elseworlds but they changed her hair here made her a bit more i guess kate kane-ish and less ruby rose-ish if that makes sense uh she does have a little bit of a piece of paper there maybe that's a message left by bruce bruce is kate kane's cousin kane you know martha kane bruce wayne's mom anyway so i'm guessing that's maybe how she found the Batcave, or maybe luke fox helped her I know, it's going to be interesting. It's hard to really tell from just this primer image, but I'm guessing we're connecting some dots there. Um, but if we actually move over to the second image, we actually do get a proper like front-on look, if you want to call it, of Ruby Rose as Kate Kane. She's got a motorcycle in the background. Not too sure what the context of the scene here. It does look very Gotham-esque. Um, they did film the fina uh, the... Uh, the pilot episode, most of it in Vancouver. How they ever, however, they did film some of it in Chicago, where they filmed um, a lot of the, the most, of, actually all of the Gotham stuff from the Elseworlds crossover. So the exterior of Gotham, like you know, when they you know span over the buildings and stuff in the uh, episodes, will be Chicago. But I'm not too sure whether they're actually going to film the actual show. We might learn that today. Maybe the information is already out before this video goes up. If there is, if there is any information that comes out. I'll probably write in the comments if it does come out, but I think this is Vancouver or is it? I don't know. I, I don't, there's an American flag in the background, but obviously not going to put a Canadian flag in there in, in Batwoman. So I don't know if you recognize it. Let me know if you think it's Vancouver or Chicago. If I had to make a guess, I'm going to say Vancouver, but 
yeah, I think it looks pretty good from what we see there. I think there's been a lot of complaints about Ruby Rose as Batwoman or Kay Kane. The accent is a bit of an issue. Um, I've always said this, they should have, and it's not just me because I'm Australian and I'm saying it'd be cool to have like an Australian hero or main hero on the show. Ruby Rose is Australian. Why couldn't they just make it that Kate Kane, like the Kanes, that family lineage is Australian? Or Kate Kane grew up in Australia and just her and maybe her sister would have Australian accents. I think it's an easy way to go about it. If Ruby Rose isn't the strongest in regards to bringing out an American accent, why not just let her talk normally? I know. I think it's a simple solution. It doesn't take a genius to work that out. I think that'd be an easy way to go about it. It's like with Manu Bennett in Arrow. You know, he's a Kiwi, but he can make himself sound Australian. It's not too much of a differential there. And they made Slade Wilson Australian. I think it worked. You know, I think it was just the easiest way to go about it. So why not just make Kate Kane Australian? I don't know. But anyway... As I said, they did release a synopsis um, for this, uh, well, the season as a general, but uh, in general, sorry, but um, some of it is from the initial one they released God knows how long ago, but we'll just go over it right now. So, Kate Kane, Ruby Rose, never planned to be Gotham's new vigilante. Three years after Batman mysteriously disappeared, Gotham is a city in despair. Without the caped crusader, the Gotham City Police Department was overrun and outgunned by criminal gangs. Enter Jacob Kane and his military-grade Crows private security, which now protects the city with omnipresent firepower and militia. Years before, Jacob's first wife and daughter were killed in the crossfire of Gotham crime. He sent his only surviving daughter, Kate Kane, away from Gotham for her safety. After a dishonorable discharge from military school and years of brutal survival training, Kate returns home, from, uh, returns home sorry, when the Alice in Wonderland gang targets her father and his security firm by kidnapping his best crow officer, Sophie Moore. Although Ray married to wealthy socialite Catherine Hamilton Kane, who bankrolls the Crows, Jacob is still struggling with the family he lost, while keeping Kate, the daughter he still has, at a distance. But Kate is a woman who's done asking for permission. In order to help her family and her city, she'll have to become the one thing her father loathes. A Dark Knight Vigilante with the help of her compassionate stepsister, Mary, and the crafty Luke Fox, the son of Wayne Enterprises tech guru Lucius Fox, Kate Kane continues the legacy of her missing cousin, Bruce Wayne, as Batwoman. Still holding a flame for her ex-girlfriend, Sophie, Kate uses everything in her power to combat the dark machinations... Machinations? Is that a word? Anyway, machinations, if I'm saying that correctly, of the psychotic Alice, who's always somewhere slipping between sane and insane. Armed with a passion for social justice and a flair for speaking her mind, Kate soars through the shadowed streets of Gotham as Batwoman. But don't call her a hero yet. In a city desperate for a saviour, she must first overcome her own demons before embracing the call to be Gotham's symbol of hope. So yeah, overall, that, that what we have there, it's very interesting. So essentially this Alice, you know, the Alice and Land gang and just Alice or Red Alice from the comics... It's not, I, I know it's not best to just call another character and just say it's this person's, you know, villain, but Alice, you may as well just see her as Batwoman's Joker. That's probably uh, probably the best way to go. Um, yeah, it's not really spoilers because it's, in, anyway, we'll just say it now. I don't think many people are going to care too much because you could just simply Google the character and find this out. But Alice in the comics is actually um, Kate Kane's apparently dead sister or dead twin. So, uh, sorry for knocking my mic. So, it will be interesting to see if the show does that because um, Kate would have been young when this happened. So she wouldn't be able to necessarily recognize Alice if it, you know it's not identical twins and stuff like that. Um, so that makes sense if like there's no distinguishing that character and all of that. But it will be interesting to see if they follow that and that you know Alice is actually Kate Kane's uh, sister and all of that. That'll be very, very interesting. In regards to Jacob Kane... Um, and he, this, you know, this military group he has, it will be interesting to see if they do anything with that. If you've read uh, DC Rebirth in particular Detective Comics, you would know what they do with that. Um, basically, I I think they will go with that. And that's why I'm sort of bringing up in regards to, is there going to be two villains? Like, will Alice be a villain um, that maybe is the end game, if you want to call it, of the season? And then maybe Jacob is like a Jacob Kane and this force he has while pretending to protect the city is actually a massive nuisance and could be like a recurring villain throughout the season or a constant villain that may, that's maybe tied into Alice as well. I don't know, it'd be very interesting. The reason I think that they'll use the Jacob stuff as well is because it's always good to have the, the, the masked 
you know, the masked goons, if you want to call them, you know, how we had like the Mirakuru soldiers and all of that and various other things like Hive and all of that and various other seasons of different shows and even like the Agent Liberty people and Serbigol this season. It's a way to have battles without them being with the villain, but still could be connected to the main villain story. So I think they'll go with that, but they do have the Alice in Wonderland gang as well. So they're going to have like two different sets of possible masked goons and stuff to deal with. So, you know, I think the biggest issue that a lot of people had going to the show is whether it will go full on social justice because that actually that is actually the worst version of Batwoman in the comics. That version of Batwoman is the one that no one really likes. Some people would like it, but that's a minority. You got to be careful because I think Supergirl's gone away from what they were doing with this whole social justice stuff from previous seasons and they're having a very good season and people are really liking it. But people didn't like how it, certain politics and stuff were shoved down people's throats. People just want to enjoy TV. They don't want like a political lesson and stuff. And I don't think Batwoman is the stage to put that stuff in a show. So hopefully they play it safe. Hopefully they're smart. It's okay to have that stuff, especially because of Batwoman or Kate Kane's sexuality and stuff. I'm fine with them saying like, if there's certain prejudice and stuff and they bring that up, I'm fine with that because it's realistic. But if it is like unrealistic, you know, I wouldn't say propaganda, but political, just shoving it down. I guess that is propaganda anyway. Just, you know, just certain things with political stuff that doesn't need to be there and it does feel forced. Just try and stick away from it because this show could be really, really good. As I said, I like Ruby Rose in the role of KK. I think she fits it. It's just some, maybe the accent stuff is a bit weird. But, you know, I'm looking forward to the show. Uh, they did announce that it's actually going to be on Sundays at 8 o'clock um, in America, which is actually going to be before Supergirl. So on Sundays, it's going to be Batwoman, then Supergirl. So you got two uh, a night of two ladies that kick ass. So that's pretty good. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and show your support. Let me know your various opinions in the comments. Uh, what are your thoughts on those two primary images we showed? What are your thoughts on the synopsis and stuff? I will leave uh, the link to batwomantv.com where you can read the synopsis and see those two prime images by themselves. Um, so yeah, click that and give them guys a bit of a support. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like it, leave your comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll probably be bringing you more stuff from this CW upfronts in... The next six hours? I don't know. I need sleep, but I'm not going to get it. Thanks, time zones, for being terrible. But I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.